Daniel Medvedev versus Francis Tiafo is the first semi-final for the men at Indian Wells for 2023. And both guys have been impressive to get to the semi-finals. Medvedev started the tournament off as number five seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he take on Nakashima, who had just beaten John Isner in the previous round. But this was no problem for Medi, getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-3. In the third round, he take on Avashka, who had just beaten Van der Zanschulp, the 28th seed in the previous round. And this was a tough match for Medi. After complaining about the court several times, he got through in three sets, 6-2, 3-6, 6-1. In the fourth round, he take on the 12th seed, Zverev, who was coming back nicely from his injury. And this was the all-time match of the tournament so far. Going over three hours, with Medvedev eventually winning 6-7-7-6-7-5 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Medvedev will take on the number 23 seed for Kina, who had been very impressive to get to the quarterfinals. And after a close second set, Medvedev would eventually get through in straights 6-3-7-5 to advance to the semifinals. Tiafo entered the tournament as the number 14 seed. We get a buy in the first round. The second round, he'd take on countryman Giron, but this posed no problems as he got through in straight sets, 6-2, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Kubla, who had just beaten Dimitrov, the 21st seed in the previous round. But again, Tiafo was super impressive, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. In the fourth round, he'd take on the qualifier to Billo, who had a very impressive week to make the fourth round. But this was easy for Tiafo again, winning 6-4, 6-4, and getting to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Tiafo would take on Nori, the 10th seed, who'd won this tournament back in 2021. And this was one of Tiafo's best performances, getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-4, to get to the semis. These guys have played four times before, with Medvedev winning all four of their matches on outdoor hardcourt, but they haven't played for nearly two years, last time being in Miami, straight sets win to Medvedev. Having a look at the shot quality for both these guys, and their serves, identical in shot quality at both 8.0, so whoever serves better in this one is going to get the advantage, but Medvedev has the advantage on the return at a 7.7, .7, which is huge, not only compared to Tiafo, but also to the two average. Medvedev also has the advantage when the rally gets started with an 8.1 on the forehand and a 7.8 on the backhand. So Tiafo is going to have to serve well and hope that maybe Medvedev's having an off day when the ground strokes get underway. Shot quality is a part of a range of new insights from the team at Tennis Insights. It is calculated in real time and analyzes each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and impact on the opponent. The number of the player cards are actually the 52-week rolling averages. Go check them out on Twitter, link down below. This is a very fun matchup and maybe a matchup we didn't expect, especially from TRFO's point of view, and I expect some real excitement here. I'm going to go with Medvedev in three sets. I think it's going to be a very, very tough match for Medi to win, though, because the crowd's against him. He doesn't like the court. The wind might be picking up. It might be a very tough match, but I think he just gets through on experience. But let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one.